Hi, this is Adam Trenier with the Low Country Home Team. Today, we're out at a new construction site with one of my favorite builders, Beezer Homes, at The Groves in Berkeley County. Today, Leo Ortega, my transaction coordinator and fellow real estate agent on our team, is joining us. Um, a lot of people wonder how we so smoothly help so many clients, and the way I do that is having a trained expert that specializes in after the under contract process to the closing table. So when I help buyers and sellers, I'm out there making sure we get the best terms for that initial part of the contract. After we're under contract, Leah is a specialist in getting through the repair negotiations and clearing all those contingencies that is part of the process of buying a home. So I wanna have the expert actually walk you through the process from being under contract to the closing table. So Leah, what are some of the steps from getting under contract to the closing table? We know that the first set of time is our due diligence period. What happens during that period of time? So your due diligence period is the time where you as the buyer can have any inspection that you want. You can inspect for anything that you might deem necessary. The major inspection that we have done is a general home inspection. So a trusted inspector comes out, does a very thorough inspection of the property. They check systems um, such as in, uh, electrical, plumbing, structurals, um, and then when they get that report back, it's a very comprehensive report. They um, have about a 70 page report that they give back to us and we dissect that and find the best repairs um, to be as cost efficient and as necessary as possible. So other than the home inspection, what other inspections uh, happen while you're under contract? The other big one is called the CL100 report. It is basically a report that looks for termites, wood destroying organisms, and uh, wood decay. So in order for a lender to finance a property, it has to have a clear CL100 nine times out of 10. And besides the inspections, uh, we all know that most finance properties go through an appraisal process. Mm -hmm. How does an appraiser determine the value of a property typically? So an appraiser will go out to the location with the sales contract in hand. They know the price that we are trying to get to. Um, they will also have comps from around the home within a certain radius um, with like finishes, same square footage, bedroom, bathroom count. So the closer a home is in comparison, um, that's the price that they will look for. And it's typically a price per square foot. Okay, so I know that something has changed as far as closing goes uh, here recently. Once we've cleared all the contingencies, I know we don't normally typically have buyers and sellers sit across from each other at the same closing table anymore. Now we kind of split that process up. How does that process work now? Well, typically a seller will sign their paperwork about a week in advance. Um, and then the buyers will sign a couple weeks later um, or even a couple days later, depending upon the timeline. Um, and then they will get their keys at the table and move into their new house. Awesome, it doesn't sound like a very complicated process when you have the right team in place. That's right, it takes a village of professionals. And <laughs> we are confident we can make this a smooth transaction for you. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, come work with a professional team that can get you to the closing table smoothly. If you are looking for a home near Park Circle, this week's featured home may be perfect for you. 4406 Holmes Avenue in North Charleston is a charming two bedroom, one bathroom home, perfectly suited for a couple, small family or individual seeking low country living. This property offers a blend of comfort and convenience nestled in a community renowned for its accessibility and allure. Inside, discover a living space with unique designer touches that create a welcoming atmosphere. The kitchen is a modern haven of style and functionality featuring granite countertops that complement the sleek, updated design. There is so much more to learn about this property, so if this sounds like something for you, reach out to the team at Low Country Home, or you can head out to the open house they are hosting this Saturday from 1 to 4.